right off, you are not um, new to sort of superheroes in that universe and stuff. So for me, when I read about the characters, I immediately dive into their backstory because there's comics, there's such a rich history. Do you do the same or do you just sort of take it as what you want to imagine it and go from there and not get too into the backstory because there's so much? There is so much. There's a lot of backstory. No, I, I dig a little bit of backstory in these kinds of things, and it's good to know. And, it, and you know, and so uh, it opens up, it opens up everything. So your answers are going to be more more um, rich, I think, when you when you've already filled in that you fill in the backstories. We actors, that's what we do all the time. The director does his work. He fills in the backstories, and he can help you when you first get cast. But we as actors, we fill in our own backstories. So it may be completely different and opposite of the, of the director's backstory, and which is okay, because the, the director's backstory and the writer's backstory, and then you add that with the actor's backstory. Now you got a really unbelievably rich uh, uh, kind of uh, um, beautiful, beautiful combination going on. And so, yeah, that's, yeah, I, I dig making sure that I know where I'm, I've come from and where I'm going, you know, I, and I have a, end up, end up having a good three-dimensional character because of that. So what are some of your favorite elements of Savant? Because, I mean, right off without giving anything away, we see <laughs> exactly who he is and what type of temperament he has. So for you, what were some of your favorites? You know what? I, 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 I'll tell you, this is no secret, but it's, it's, it's out there. But my hair, it really needs its own credit. You know, <laughs> so give, give credit where credit is due. That is an, that's an awesome wig. They did a beautiful job. They had a wig for the, the dry look and they had a wig for the wet look. So uh, yeah, I had, and I had both. And they promised that they'd give me the, the wet look wig and they never got it to me. I'm like, where's my wig, baby? Come on. Michael, what were you gonna do that wig? What was that? Was that gonna be a special Halloween look? Where were we going? Man, I was gonna, I was gonna have that. It would I would have had that for Halloween for sure. It's a beautiful wig and it's it's real hair and it, it was just gorgeous and it was nice and flat. And I've always, always wanted to have straight flat hair. But as an actor and as, as in history here, my, my hair is curly. So I have really curly hair. After it gets a certain length, you just don't want it, you don't want people to see it because it looks so ugly. It's just curly. It goes everywhere. There's no rhyme or reason. So I usually wear a hat, you know, at, for several months until it grows out and gets more, uh, more, you know, fluffy and curly and, and, and cooler looking. And then you can have it shaped, you know, but um, boy, oh boy. I think I think the hair is is by far my one of my favorite elements in in um, my physical elements. So you can look at and go, oh, that's that's cool, you know, or oh, that, that's not so cool, you know, whatever.